So this is how you solve this type of question. Step 1. Determine the amount of sodium chloride that is needed to make 15 milliliters isotonic. So that's going to be equal to 0 0.9 grams divided by 100 milliliters times 15 milliliters. And that's going to be equal to 0 0.135 grams sodium chloride. In the next step, you determine the amount of sodium chloride that provides the same osmotic pressure as the concentration of the oxymetazoline hydrochloride. So the way you do that is to take the half percent, so that we have grams in 100 milliliters times 15 milliliters times the E value, which is 0 0.2, and that's going to be equal to 0 0.015 grams sodium chloride. The next thing you do in step 3 is you subtract step 2 from step 1. So that's going to be 0 0.135 grams minus 0 0.015 grams. And that's going to be equal to 0 0.12 grams sodium chloride. Now in step 4, you're going to divide step 3 by the E value of boric acid. So step 4 is going to be 0 0.12 grams sodium chloride divided by the E value 0 0.52. And that's going to be equal to 0 0.231 grams. Now you have boric acid. Now the next thing you do in step 5 is you set up a proportion using the 5% solution. So you have 5 grams in 100 milliliters should be equal to 0 0.231 grams over some volume in milliliters. So you solve for x, which is your unknown. x is going to be equal to 100 milliliters times 0 0.231 grams divided by 5 grams. Grams cancels out. And that's going to be equal to 4.62 milliliters. So that's how you solve this type of question.